Good morning, and I'm on my last prayer assignment um, for Arizona. Jesus has had me going around in a circle, and a month or two ago, I'm not sure when, um, Holy Spirit said that I would be setting fire to the Satanic Temple over the state of Arizona. Little did I know that that wasn't an actual building in the city, which is what I thought it was. And when I got on their website and I started looking, um, they give directions out here out here into this mountain area and I'm here on a high place this area right here um you can see my car down there uh, Holy Spirit told me to hike up hike up to the high place and so I came up here I blew my shofar I anointed the land and Holy Spirit said you're going to set fire um so the Baphomet is a ruling spirit obviously over the satanic temple it's on their website they say they don't actually worship him which is weird because a pentagram is actually a sigil it's a demonic marking and what Holy Spirit showed me in the spirit, which I've struggled with um, for the last few days, is I have seen sacrifice, I have seen ritual, I have seen children abused, I have actually seen the Baphomet in the spirit, I have seen the altar. And so Jesus sent me out here, and if I'm honest, um, I have been so nervous about coming out here because it's out here in the middle of nowhere. And I didn't know what I would find and what I would see, but I know what I saw in the spirit. And so um, one of their directions was a little off, and which was probably done on purpose. And so as I was continuing down this road down here, um, Holy Spirit said, that high place, go up to that high place and pray. So I got out of the car and I'm still a little bit out of breath. I got out of the car and I came up here and I kind of felt like I was reading this morning. I kind of felt like a little bit like Gideon, except not in the dead of the night, um, coming up here to destroy their altars and their high places and to set fire to this area and to plead Jesus's blood over the land and over the blood that has been shed. Because we learn from Second Kings, from the story in Second Kings, where um, Elisha had prophesied, remember the valley got filled up with water, and he prophesied that the Israelites would win against the, Mo, uh, against the king of Moab. Well, there was a sacrificial wall that they never tore down that they were supposed to tear down. And in that sacrificial sacrificial wall was where they would they were sacrificed. And so the king was losing, and he sacrificed his son on the wall. And then it says a great indignation rose up against Israel. And it doesn't say what that indignation was, but what it says is the Israelites ran away. So here the valley, I mean, it's like this valley right here. This valley right here supernaturally filled up with water. And then a prophet of God told me that we were going to win the war. And then we go into war, and then we see something. So it had to be a huge demonic uprising. So they see that and they run away. So they were going to win the war, but they ran away. So we know that when there's blood sacrifice, that the enemy gets power. Otherwise, people wouldn't do blood sacrifice. I mean, and all different demonic religions use blood because the devil, it's just a different fallen angel. It's just a different principality and power, you know, whether it's um, the satanic temple, where it is the Baphomet, you know, whether it's uh, Santa Muerta, you know, whether it's um, any of those in Palo Mayombe or um, Santeria, uh, paganism, you know, what they call white magic, new age, whatever it is, it's just a different power over it. This one happens to be the Baphomet, the goat head. And so we know that blood, um, when the life is in the blood, and this devil is a copycat. They're all a copycat. And we know Jesus' blood gives life and redemption and healing and salvation. Well, the devil promises people power, riches, fame, you know, fortune, whatever it is. And, but they have to give up blood. And as the demonic realm grows, as we see in our nation over the last two years, even over this state, I mean, there's a satanic temple. You know, they had a, a big conference in um, the Phoenix Scottsdale area a couple months ago. These, all these different demonic religions are on the rise. And we need to rise up as believers and hear Holy Spirit and go where he says to go. And so Holy Spirit called me out here. And this is, if I'm honest, this has been my toughest assignment so far because I saw what was out here. And I knew that I would be coming out here alone. And I knew I would be traveling down these dirt roads. But I also knew that, that the angels are with me. I also know, like, oh, and it's, I took a picture earlier. But earlier, um, the clouds, I mean, they're not looking like it now, but over and around me, the clouds were coming down. And so that was my sign that, that the angels were with me. It was a physical manifestation. And so Jesus just had me come up here. He had me pray. He had me give the land back to him and just worship. 
and to speak over the cities and to speak life and not death and to speak healing and restoration and to speak over that blood, over that blood being, that's being shed. I had a student years ago that had come out of Phoenix, Arizona. He was a fourth grader and I, and I lived in another city and state. And that child had been sexually abused as a fourth grader by his mother and his stepfather in satanic ritual abuse in Phoenix. And then they went to New York and Child Protective Services, which they never do, crossed the state lines and got the child back. Well, I got the child in class and he was catatonic. And the counselors had told me what was wrong with him. I had him in a summer school class and he had passed everything, but they felt like it would be good for him given the uh, amount of abuse that he had. And so he came to me and when I would hold his hand, I would literally see him standing next to Jesus at the throne. And so I would just pray for him. And, and by the end of summer school, he was speaking. But that child, it was a documented case of being sexually abused on an altar in Phoenix, Arizona. And so how many of those go unreported? Many, many. And so out here, that is what is taking place. Out here, there is blood ritual going on. There are sexual rituals, and they do involve our children. And that is not Jesus's way. So today, a fire has been set in Jesus's name. Angels have been loosed in Jesus's name. And the Baphomet is and was the ruling power over um, the state of Arizona. I prayed over Phoenix, um, the capital in Phoenix, two years ago. And the capital of Phoenix was the only capital in the United States, that capital building, that didn't have a cornerstone laid by the Masons. The Masons have their own. They have Gadriel. They follow the 33 Canaanite kings. That's where the 33rd comes from in the degrees of Masonry. So over the state of Arizona, that wasn't set. And Holy Spirit said the Baphomet was the reigning ruling power, which is why you're seeing um, a rise in Satanism. You're seeing a rise in all of this demonic power. But we have power in the name of Jesus. We have dominion in the name of Jesus. And Jesus's way is that we be fruitful and we multiply. Jesus's way is that all people will come to him. Even the Satanists, I've prayed for them also to have a divine encounter with Jesus so they can be radically saved because they're believing a lie. They're believing that the enemy camp is the reigning camp and that they're going to win in the end. They are believing a lie from all the demonic powers because they're not going to tell them that they're doomed for all eternity. They're not going to tell them they're going to wind up in hell. They're just going to use them, abuse them, and when they're done, they're going to die. Some of them get to stay and reign for a long time, and some of them don't. And so we need to wake up as believers, and we need to know that we are still in a war. And that war is not over until Revelation. That war is not over until Jesus Christ returns. And this morning when I was in Payson, um, so I left Payson this morning, and I was on my knees praying before I came out here, and on my knees, and I saw the angel over Payson wrapped up in cords. He was bound in cords, because we know from Matthew, it says, what you bind on earth, you loose on earth. I'm sorry, what you bind in heaven, you loose in heaven. What you bind on earth, you loose on earth. Or no, I think I said that backwards. What you bind in heaven, you loose on, what you bind in heaven, you bind on earth. What you loose in heaven, you loose on earth. Forgive me for that. I got tongue-tied there. And so what he's saying, and he says, I give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. So we have these spiritual keys, but we have to use them. Jesus gives us these gifts, but if we don't use these gifts, then they just sit on the shelf and the enemy just goes around kicking our butt and they're beating up our loved ones, our family, our children. They're taking over our schools, our homes, our nations, and they're robbing us and they're building these altars and they're taking our, our happiness and our joy and our health and our finances. They're robbing us. They're robbing us. So church, we need to wake up. And so when I saw that angel bound, I prayed. I prayed for the silver cords of witchcraft to be cut over that angel. And he was big. He was big. And then loosed um, all of the angels around him. And so I actually got to see an angel bound in the spirit. Because if they didn't get bound, if things didn't happen to them, then we would just be seeing Jesus's goodness flourish across our nation. And we're not seeing that. We are seeing bondage and oppression and desolation and abuse and addiction and suicide. We are seeing all kinds of things that Jesus did not die for. He died for defeat of those things. But you and I need to step out. We need to step out under the covering of Jesus, under the anointing of Holy Spirit. We need to step out and ask Holy Spirit, where do you want me to go? And what do you want me to pray for? Who do you want me to speak to? We all have the commission of the great gospel to, to share the gospel, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out demons. We all have that commission, every single one of us. But we all each have a specific purpose. My purpose is I burn down altars. I travel places and I burn down altars and I see um, demonic things in the spirit. 
I have friends who travel in the spirit, who pray over different things. Everybody has a job. So you have a specific calling in the kingdom. Ask Holy Spirit what it is. Ask Holy Spirit for the, for the baptism of him to go out and to do the work of Jesus. So today is another victory. Today is another victory in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we glorify and we honor you. Your name is above all names. Jesus, we praise your name. We thank you. We worship you. We honor you. And it is in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen.